Do they really only have one person to sub? Yes, they did only have one sub. It's the Sam Cam. It's Team Schlitz versus the Glaciers. The Dirty Swede getting knocked down by Hot Hands Hanley. Maddie one timer decides he's just going to play with the puck. Like, we're going to play with the Glaciers, who did only have one sub at the beginning. They had a couple people show up. I think they ended up with nine. They gave us a good run for our money. They took down the Bruins by like seven or eight goals or something last time. And uh, they have some decent guys. And Ernie stepped it up. Ernie played a great game in net. We still managed to win in overtime. But the camera that I've had since, I believe, 2009... Uh, old camera pretty much bit the dust this uh, this game and died in the third period. There's a penalty that Milano's going to take, and then he's going to throw it in the net, but that doesn't count. And then I'm trying to kill a penalty. I can't pick up anybody, and the Glaciers are going to get off to a one nothing lead. That one's going to sneak short side on Zansky. We were down. Schlitz was down to Team Schlitz for, uh, to uh, the Glaciers for most of this game. But at the tail end of the first period, Spanky, listen for the buzzer. So. Somehow that goes in from no angle. Five hole on the earned man with zero time on the clock to tie the game at one. It would prove to be an important goal as this game would go to overtime. That one sneaks in somehow. It's two one glaciers. We were playing catch up the whole game. And then we... <laughs> Sean, Gibby Jr. Jr. walking away. Doesn't want any more suspensions. Back from his 30-day four-game slash trip from behind the ref's eyelids. Oh, Kyle, please put it in. Go upstairs, Kyle. Oh, no. The defenseman, that did get over Ernie. The defenseman came in and saved his goalie's ass and kicked that puck as it was about to cross the line to uh, hold a hobbling Kyle, still recovering from that nasty ankle injury last week. That's going to be a goal from Gibby. Kyle, Kyle to Gibby there. There's a point for Kyle. It's 2-2. He was recovering. He's a little slow, but he's all right. It's good to see him out without... Uh, without shin splints hanging out all over the place. Too much passing, too much fun for Tom Tom and Skid Marks. We need to get more direct, which we did in the third period. Look at these saves by Ernie. I've never seen that. He, Ernie was challenging today. He was he was playing like a third baseman fielding a bunt. He was out just attacking everyone who came in. You'll see he comes about 12 feet out of the crease to save uh, one of Gibby's shots in the third period. But we get caught here, and bleep, breakaway goes upstairs. Zansky's upset. His glove gets beat. And then after that, here's some more saves. We're going to bring it out. We're not going to bring it out. We're going to get caught. We're going to take another penalty. Refs didn't help us out. You, you can always know when we're playing the guy who runs the league's team that the officiating is not going to be on our side. And that's what happened today. We took many penalties. We were shorthanded most of the game. Probably why the Glaciers were kept in there. That's a nice tip by Farn Guy. That is a dirty Swede one-time tip. Nice pass, nice tip. Got to give him credit there. And it becomes 4-2. What are we going to do, Team Schlitz? I claimed it. I called it when the, when, uh, the Sedin brothers of Northern Virginia came back. Look at this save. Paul, everywhere. Zansky stopping that puck from going in. All these goals that we stopped from going in came in big. It's a good save by Zance there. And watch this. Gibby Jr. Jr. gets picked. And then does a little back checking, comes back in the play, beats one guy, two guys, beats the same guy again, three guys, four guys, five guys, follows the puck up and scores. That was huge. That was a humongous goal. Makes it 4-3. Gibby Jr. Jr. back and helping. And foreign guy coming. Oh, yeah, we're out. Milano going to get a break. Milano is going to deke out the dirty sweet, and he's going to do what dirty sweet does. He's going to take him down. Finally, a power play for us, something so blatant they have to give us a power play. And, I don't know, five seconds, just Maddie one-timer, over to Gibby, over to Gibby Jr. Jr., over to Skid Marks, buried, done. And it's 4-4, and then the camera pretty much died. <laughs> I think we're going to have the fifth Glacier goal is going to show up. Look at how far Ernie's out of the net there, by the way. Insanity. Doing everything he can. But Gibby would have the last laugh. Because Spanky would not have the last laugh as he had many opportunities to score and didn't uh, other than that goal in the first period. Yep, Matty one time we're going to take a penalty there and then they're going to score right here. And the scoreboard's going to say 5-4, but the truth is it was 6-5. And it was Team Schlitz going undefeated in the last eight, 7-0-1. Keep it up, Schlitz guys. Because this guy right here, that's awesome. How old were you in this picture? 15. 15 years old.
This guy wouldn't lie about where he worked. Where were you working when you were 15? <laughs> All right, what's your question for me? I got that, what, what's that thing? I got that thing from your wife about, what are you talking about? My wife? Yeah. Well, I didn't, didn't yeah, say yeah. it much, so I didn't want to like... It's a massage parlor. Thing. She wants to open a massage parlor? Yeah, she runs one, it's called Polish Endings. Are you ready? I don't know what the fuck you're going to sit down. But she sent me a fucking long email, so I didn't know what the fuck you said. You don't know if I'm serious or not. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I, I, I,